What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a makeup haul and it's kind of a random one. It's like Nordstrom, I don't know. It's like Nordstrom and Ulta and I've never really combined those two stores before but here we go. First thing I wanna talk about is my favorite subscription service or one of them. It's like the Yoga Club and then Scentbird. New Travel Sense because I'll be doing a lot of traveling this year. If you don't know what Scentbird is, I partner with them a lot and it's basically $15 a month and you can choose, actually choose from over 450 cents. Anything like from Tom Ford, Cartier, um, they've got colognes for men. It's cheaper than getting a rollerball at Sephora. It's $15 a month. Actual Travel Sense that you get is actually a great size like this would last you probably like 150 sprays I'm wanting to try different scents um, it's a really great service to you know kind of test drive things before you buy them so I actually got um, cocoa vanilla and this smells amazing this smells like like tropical with like a hint of vanilla I like cannot wait to wear that and that that's gonna last me for so long and then I was really excited because I've been talking about this perfume since I purchased it and it's the Cartier Basir Volet and I know that like I'm totally butchering that name but this was featured in my 2018 favorites so if you guys want to test that out you can try it for $15 and I actually have a coupon code where you can get $10 for your first month so if you want to try out this amazing perfume it is so fresh like I cannot every time I smell it it blows my mind at how good it smells. That, and then the last scent that I got and I love is the, oh, this smells so good. This smells more like jasmine -y. I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's Bulgari, Gari or something. Do you guys see that? And I like took the quiz and I just basically put in fresh and all of these fresh perfumes came up and that is what I got so I'm gonna put that link below it's such an awesome service I use it all the time if you travel a lot for business this is gonna be your best friend because um, you can take a bunch of different scents and travel with them so I absolutely love that okay let's move on to the next thing so I don't really know where to begin I I'm gonna start with this because I'm obsessed with this this is the uh, Bravo conditioning primer from Benefit. I am completely in love with this product. This helps your brows to grow, but it also primes them before you put on like your brow stuff. I've been doing it twice a day to really get my brows to grow here and right here. Like they're very sparse right here. I have to draw it in. And I feel like after using this for a week, they're already starting to grow. That is what's nuts about this product. I'm so excited. Next thing um, was sent to me from um, Beauty Bakery. This is their cotton candy blush palette. It's super cute because when you open it, it has like little cotton candy things right here. Um, I'm just actually gonna, is this real cotton candy? No, super pretty blushes, all really frosty. So if you are not into frosty blushes, you're probably not gonna like this, but they're extremely smooth. So those are all of the colors. They're pretty wearable. And I would think like if they are too light, you could probably use these as a really pretty highlight if you have got darker skin. But that is a gorgeous mauve, a beautiful icy pink, a kind of like a mid-tone peach, and then like your bright peach. Three um, products that, uh, three lip products. This is the Lip Whip, and it's the Liquid Matte Smudge Free Lipstick. And this is the shade, um, I'm gonna have to link that for you, we hardly see it. Oh, that is right up my alley. So that is the Syrup Unctuous. And then they also sent a gloss. Oh, this is really pretty. This is called Jelly Whip, and this is one that I would like because it's super iridescent, so it's like clear with a little bit of sheen to it. But that's pretty, and then the last thing I got was another gloss, and then this is, I think a little bit, this is sheer as well, Glazy. Oh, this is pretty. So I like these because they are um, more sheer than like, the other ones that I have. So 
um, that's super pretty. It's kind of just like a neutral brown color. And then um, Grande Cosmetics. I wanted to try out this lip plumping trio and it comes with like three neutral colors. It comes with a pink, a clear, and a nude. And I think that if you are wanting like plump lips and maybe you don't wanna get lip injections. I f and I, I know a lot of times like lip plumping treatments are like gimmicky, but I found that this actually does a pretty good job of plumping the lips. Lasts for less than maybe a half an hour, but um, I did find that temporarily this works pretty well and it doesn't sting that bad. All right, then I got this lip combination that I'm wearing today and I love it. It's a really pretty like bright, um, berry combination and my friend told me to get it. This is Venom. So I basically just got the Venom lip liner and the lipstick. I don't know. I know I like it. And this is a cream and I really like Urban Decay cream colors. So that is what it looks like. Super pretty. And then I love this. I got so many comments when I wore this in a video a while back. This is the Dose of Colors Brick, and this is gorgeous. Ugh, I love shades like this. It's just kind of like a brick shade. It's a red and brown mixture, and I think that these are so pretty on people. Yeah, it's just like a red and brick, I don't know, just like the color of a brick. That's pretty much what it is. Came out with, is coming out with like, a bunch of new brow products and I got these off QVC because I wanted to try it. I think they're only available right now on QVC, but I'm sure they'll be available this week sometime. I cannot wait to try out the stuff that they are coming out with. So I just wanted to try out, I just got the waterproof brow gel and I got it in ozone and in midnight cowgirl. And so the midnight cowgirl is like sparkly. So it kind of leaves some sparkle on your brows, which I thought was kind of cool. Trust me when I say it's really pretty. It just kind of adds a little bit of glimmer to the brows. And um, I thought that would be really fun like for a night out or something. So now for the Nordstrom stuff. So the first thing I got, and I'm kind of bummed out about this and I knew that I would be disappointed. I knew that it would kind of be garbage. Um, I got the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk Quad. Oh, I don't know, I love the blush and I think the lipstick is amazing. The pa her palettes just are not that great. I just do not think they're worth the money at all. The colors are really pretty, but they just don't perform very well for me. And that is like totally Victoria's Secret, but you can find these shades in the Urban Decay Cherry Palette, which is the same price. You can find them in like the Huda Nude Palette and all these different palettes. I just don't feel like it's worth the money. So I was kind of bummed out about that. I wanted to get it because I just knew that the shades together would be so pretty. But I'm just like kind of going back and forth with my other palettes and I just realized that it's very dupable and you should definitely get the blush. It's gorgeous. The lipstick's gorgeous. This is just kind of a pass for me. Um, what I love though, I got another one of the Dior Forever and Ever powders because that is how good it is. It is gorgeous. Like if you, if the Fenty powder, which I have heard did not work out for you, this I think will. It's undetectable on the face. It leaves your skin perfected all day long. It's completely matte. It brushes away the pores and it's so good. So like I said, if that Fenty powder did not work, I think that this will for sure. I'm just so afraid they're gonna discontinue it or something. It's so, so good. So next thing, this was brand new um, on Nordstrom's website. It's from Guerlain and it's the Meteorites Highlighter Duo. It's like and the East Shade. So pretty, and that's just gonna be a gorgeous highlight, no matter um, your skin tone. I don't see how, I just, I love it. I love it, I, <coughs> that is so pretty. So this was actually a suggestion from my friend, Michelle Wang. She showed this in her um, 2018 Best Bronzer video and I'm obsessed. The Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Stone Street. I wanna say that's like stupid and it's limited edition, but um, who knows, who cares, but I'm wearing it today and I'm obsessed. It's, I mean, that is just a gorgeous mid-tone bronze and it's not like too cool toned, it's not too warm, it's just the perfect medium. Oh, 
it's definitely buildable and that is a really dark swatch so I mean, if you can imagine, I'm trying to think of a bronzer. Oh, she said it was like a hair darker than the, than the Edward Best Daydream. So if you know what that looks like and you love that one, but it maybe is a little bit too light, this is just a touch darker. Just as beautiful, completely matte, and a really, really nice bronzer. I forgot how well Bobbi Brown does bronzers. Yeah, next couple things. I got a new Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I sold the one because I just never used that pink blush ever, and I knew that like I would use this more. So um, I got this, and I'm so excited I did. It's beautiful. It's the Film Star. Bronze Aglow and Light Medium. This is a beautiful highlight, and this bronzer shade is stunning, especially oh, for girls who are really fair. Um, you cannot overdo it with this. I promise you it is the most beautiful um, bronzer ever, and this highlighter is perfect. Just knew, knew that I would love this one. I'm gonna be like so highlighted up, but who cares? Lastly, I had, is this lastly? No. I had to get this Bar of Gold palette. I saw um, Mel Thompson talk about this, and then um, Michelle, again, I texted her, and I was like, should I get this? And she's like, yeah, you should. And so I got this. So I, I sold that because I wanted to get these three. So it's like a gold, a really pretty pink, and then a really nice bronze color that would probably go well uh, with a tan, or you could wear it in the, uh, like... Um, on your lids is what I was thinking. Look at those, they're so, like, it's just really metallic and gorgeous. You know, I hate swatching highlighters because I just don't feel like it gives it justice when you swatch them. I think it just looks better on the face, but if you know the hype behind this product, you know it's pretty damn good, so that's why I got it. And then lastly, I had to try um, the Instant Perfect Minimizes Shine and Fine Line from Sicily. This has been on my list for a while and I knew that I just love anything that minimizes the pores and they do such a good job at all of their products. Let's see. Yes, I, um, I absolutely, that's really nice and it leaves behind like a super soft finish. So, um, we'll let you guys know about this one because it's a little bit more pricey. So I wonder if it's just the same as like the Benefit Professional cap. But um, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and um, let me know what you think below and I will see you guys next time.